Hey, JNM here with a new Blender hard surface sculpting series, and this one starts with a ball pen sketch. And yeah, I don't know why I use a ball pen, it's a habit. I recommend to use whatever works for you. There's no rule for that. Sketch on paper or use an application like Photoshop or Krita. Sometimes I don't sketch at all before I sculpt, but most of the time I do. I'm not the best sketcher or painter, it's not my focus but it's useful for me to find shapes and forms. And I do this quite fast to come into a certain flow, but the sketch that comes out is just an inspiration. I use it as a reference in Blender, that's true, but it's just to get started and most of the time the base mesh that I create doesn't really look like the sketch, but that's, that's fine. And you see I'm sketching here the basic shapes there's no real technique behind that. I often destroy the whole thing and then start again. And sometimes I use the time when I'm in the bus or yeah, somewhere sitting around so that I can sketch the ideas that I have immediately. Okay, here I had an idea to create kind of connectors for the blade. Perhaps it's not that realistic, but I somehow like it and we will see if it works. Sometimes when I've finished the sketch, I create a kind of test sculpt for certain parts, just to see if the model is, yeah, the term is readable. You could also say if you like it, if it is balanced, if you want to go with the basic shape and with the concept. And I'm quite happy with this one, but I'm sure anyway, there will be drastic changes when I start adding the base mesh and even more when I come to the sculpting part. Now start adding some details that come into my mind, but they are just to be inspired and motivated, finding new ideas. And you see my flow is getting better, at least I think so. Now I add here some supports, bandages. I don't know if the term is correct. And again, this will change tremendously when I start creating the mesh. I also add some cracks and damages for the wood part. And now I have to add something to the right side of the axe just to balance it. And I see this is a bit too small. In the end, it will be bigger. And it's also a good idea to ask other people what they think of your sketch and your first sculpting tests, as I like to do it on the community tab. I hope you like these work in process images and thanks a lot for your input. I like to add some spikes here to this part and now I see that they, they also have to be bigger. I'm not sure about the connection here, this is just a first idea. Okay, and I think I will go with the concept and the basic shapes. Of course, the angle of the handle is not correct, but I will change it when I start adding the base mesh. Another option, if you want to fix your sketch, is to use Photoshop Liquify, for example. I think Krita has a similar option. So you just take a photo and then import it into Photoshop and liquify is a bit like 2D sculpting. Just move around the parts as you do in Blender using the grab brush. Okay, that's it for the sketch and as I said, I will use it as a reference image in Blender. So I will import it now into Blender, that's pretty simple. First I gently remove the default cube the camera as well, we don't need it. Then I snap the view to right autographic and then drag a photo of the sketch 
from the explorer into the viewport. That's it, it's just an empty object with an image. And you can use the move tool to move it to the position you like. And you can also go ahead and change the transparency of the image that you find here on the object data properties tab. Okay guys, this was the first part creating the sketch. In the next part, I will show you how to create the base mesh, but I won't reuse it. It will be destructive, but that's a story for the next part. So guys, I hope you like this bit different video. The next part is coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I see you on JNM.